Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and thank you for joining me today. So what I want to do today is spend a few minutes and show you how you can edit PDF files on your mobile devices using Acrobat Mobile. And not only are we going to edit PDFs, but we're also going to take a native file that we're going to get in an email, a PowerPoint file. We're going to use Document Cloud to convert that to a PDF. Then we can make edits in Acrobat Mobile. Then we're going to save that back out to another PowerPoint file. So we can jump into that workflow using Acrobat Mobile and Document Cloud. Um, so while I'm demonstrating this, I'm not going to be able to see all of the questions and comments that come in the chat pod, but there are some people from Adobe who are standing by to answer questions. So uh, please feel free to ask your questions and send comments. And so to begin, I want to bring up my mobile device here. So I'm going to start with my tablet device. So I'll bring this up to the screen here. So I'm going to begin by going into my email and retrieving a PowerPoint file that was sent to me. So Kim sent me this PowerPoint file, and this is some slides that we're going to be using for an online course. So what I'm going to do is tap on the PowerPoint file here in my email, and then we're going to get the option to take this PowerPoint file and push it to any application on the device that supports PowerPoint. And you'll see copy to Adobe Acrobat here. So I'm going to tap on that. So that's going to take the PowerPoint file from the email and push it over to Acrobat Mobile. So I'll come in here and just rotate my device so I have a little bit more room here. Let me close this up so you can see this so it's not behind my video. Okay, so here we are inside of um, Acrobat Mobile, and we're looking at the native PowerPoint file. So we're seeing a preview of the PowerPoint file inside of Acrobat. So I can scroll through here. Now, sometimes there may be some formatting differences you'll see from the native application, and this will be true for PowerPoint, Excel, or um, Microsoft Word. PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. Um, but this is a preview that will give me just enough of a representation to know that I'm looking at the right document. And so here's a shameless plug for a course we're working on for uh, using After Effects for graphic design. Um, so again, this preview gives me enough information so I know this is the document that I want. So now what I'm going to do is convert this to PDF, and I'm going to use the Document Cloud to do this. So in the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to come up here and click on this little Pages icon here. That's going to open up, and I'm going to come down and choose Create PDF. From this dialog box here, I'll come down and click on the Create PDF button. So now what's happening is Acrobat Mobile will take that PowerPoint file, push it up to the Document Cloud. Document Cloud has full support for all formatting of Microsoft Office documents. So whatever we had in Word, PowerPoint, or Excel will look exactly the same in the resulting PDF file. So while this is being pushed up, I'm going to come up here and tap on the Back button. I'm going to come down next and go to my Outbox. And I can see my iPad stopped sharing to the screen, so let me just bring that back here real quick. There we go, my apologies for that. Let's go back into Acrobat. So what I did is I went up to the menu at the top and I went down to the Outbox. The Outbox shows you in real time the conversion process. So I can see that this is 26 megabytes and it's currently being pushed up and converted on the Document Cloud. So I'm gonna come in here instead and go to my Document Cloud folder. I've already sent the same PDF file earlier so that you don't have to watch all of this being converted. Um, but actually, there's a message here that's telling me that it is converted. So any second here, we should see the second document pop up right on this screen here. Oh, and there it is. So let's use the version 4. Let's use the one that we just created. So now I'm going to tap on this, and I'm looking at the PDF file. So now inside of Acrobat, I can go through and swipe and just take a look at all of these um, individual pages. So now inside of Acrobat, once I go through and look at these, I can come in here and start making some changes. So I'm going to scroll through, and the first change that I see is when I get to this page here, there's a little bit of uh, formatting changes here, or formatting um, misalignments. And this was actually in the PowerPoint file. I did this on purpose. Um, so this wasn't a conversion issue. It's just that these weren't lined up in the PowerPoint file. So in my resulting PDF file, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to tap on that same icon in the upper left-hand corner and come down and click on Edit PDF. So once I enable this, all of the text objects on the this particular slide or the PDF page will become enabled. So what I want to do first is I'll come in here and just simply tap one time on the, um, the block over here that says Timeline, Composition, and Project Panel, and then I'll click on the Move tool. So when you tap the first time, you'll get a bunch of options, Edit, Move, and a few others. And then once you click one of those, you go into the secondary sort of editing mode. So here I'm activated on the Move tool. So now if I tap and hold, I can move this all around the screen. 
And so what I want to do is line this up so that each one of these lines up with the arrows and the right justified text will line up on the right hand side of the icon right above it. So I'll just move this to right here. Once I have it in place, I'll tap on done. Now I'll come over here to the second text block that's misaligned. I'll tap on this once, hit move. And then when I start to move this, notice I get these live smart guides. These will help me align the text. So the text will snap to these points and allow me to make these edits uh, much more quickly. So I'll get that into place. I'll tap and when that's right in the right spot, I'll just let go. I'll hit done. The second thing I need to do is change a typo here. So the word canvas showing up right here is misspelled. So with the tool selected, you'll see the items across the top. I'll come in here and hit edit. Now I can come in here and make changes. Now to move the cursor um, on the iOS device, what I can do is take my finger and just tap and hold inside of the text and I'll get this little magnification option here. So basically this is like using the arrow keys on your keyboard to arrow the cursor point. So I'm gonna come in here and just bring this so that the cursor is after the letter N in Canvas. I'll let go, that's where my insertion point is. I'll hit the delete key two times and then type N and V. Once that's done, I can hide the keyboard by hitting the uh, down keyboard icon and then I'll exit out of that. So to exit out of editing altogether, I'll just tap anywhere else on the screen and I'm still in the editing tool, but I don't have any of the objects selected. So now what we're gonna do, let's continue down the page and let's continue to look. So when I get down to page eight in my review, I see here that this is one of the final pieces that we'll be creating in this online course. And this is the resulting screen. And if I scroll again, we have these uh, coffee beans. And then if I scroll again, I can see that this is the green screen. So there's actually a progression in the story here in my presentation. I wanna start with the green screen, show how we take the green screen out and then show that placed into an ad. So in order to rearrange the pages, what we're gonna do is exit the editing tool. So I'm gonna tap on that icon and we're gonna come down to organize pages. So when I go into the organize pages view, now I can come in here and change the order of all the pages and I can even rotate them as well. So down here, pages eight, nine, and 10, I need these to be in a different order. So if I'm gonna tap on page nine, I'm gonna tap and hold, and with this held, I'm gonna slide this over between seven and eight. I'm gonna let go. Then I'm gonna tap away to unselect it. Then I'm gonna tap on page 10, tap and hold, and we're gonna bring this over and that's gonna become the new page eight. So now when I tap on these pages, I can also select multiples at a time. So if I tap seven, and six, I can tap two and three, so I have a bunch of these selected. If I come in here and hit the rotation tool, for example, you'll see that I can manipulate multiple pages at once, so I can just rotate these around. But now that I have all of these in the right order, I'll come back here and hit the back button, and maybe I can go back to edit PDF if I need to make some additional changes, and swipe through. Or I can simply come back and just look at either my documents or just tap on the top icon which is the icon we currently have open, which is this one here, version four. And that will sort of put us back into view the document, but no tools are selected. And so at this point, if I wanted to save this back to my document cloud and then send this back to Kim or anybody else in the native PowerPoint format, what I'm gonna do is click on the icon again. We're gonna come down to export PDF. We're gonna choose Microsoft PowerPoint document so I'll choose that item here. We'll see the check mark over on the side and then we'll click export PDF. So now what's happening is we're using document cloud again, but we're taking this PDF file, the PDF file is being pushed up to document cloud and then document cloud is going to reconstruct a brand new PowerPoint file based on all of the information inside of this PDF. So that in itself is a pretty amazing uh, feat as well. So let's hit the back button. Let's go back to document cloud. And here we can see we have a brand new PowerPoint file showing up down here that we can tap on, preview inside of Acrobat Mobile, just like we started the entire process. And then we can see the, the preview here. So again, the preview here might not look exactly correct, but if we were to open this up in PowerPoint, it would look exactly the way it needs to look. So let me go back to my desktop on my Acrobat screen. Let's come in here to Document Cloud. Here's our PowerPoint file that we just got. I'm gonna double click on this. 
We're going to save this to the desktop. And then once this saves to the desktop, I'll just do a quick preview of this and we'll take a look at all of the formatting that got set in the native PowerPoint file. And so while we're waiting for this to come down, I do see one question that's being pushed over. And let me get to this question here. And it says, it's from Asha and she's asking, um, how much of this can I do on my phone? Because so far I've been doing all of this on, on my uh, tablet device. So I'm gonna quickly bring up the phone. Let's go into Adobe Acrobat. I'm gonna change from Recents to let's go to Document Cloud. We'll look for that PDF version four. And if I tap on this on my phone, I can do the export and create PDF. So I can use both the send to and get from the Adobe Document Cloud model or uh, service. And then I can also come in here and click on the organized pages and I can do the same thing on my phone as I was doing on the iPad. The only thing I can't do at the time of this recording is edit the typo that we had. So I don't have any text editing capabilities on the phone, but everything else that we did on the iPad can be done on the phone or any tablet that's running Acrobat Mobile. And so here I'm gonna go back out to the desktop. Here's our PowerPoint file that we got from Document Cloud. So I'll just open this up real quick and we'll take a look at the formatting inside of this document. And so again, this is a PDF file that was converted to, <laughs> this is me not being able to talk and click at the same time. So now this is a PowerPoint file that was originally a PowerPoint, converted to PDF, edited on mobile, edited or sent back to a PDF, sorry, converted from PDF back to uh, PowerPoint. And now we're looking at this PowerPoint back on the desktop and you can see all of the formatting has been completely retained including things like um, setting the alignment and changing our typos. So <laughs> that was a lot of stuff to cover. Um, I hope you found these tips really helpful. Um, and so with that, I hope to see you on our next episode.